Uh, sometimes when we indicate direction, we can talk about it uh, as is, is in compass bearings, which is you know the north, south, east, and west. We can also have a, a refer to it as bearings, where um, if it's straight up, it's a bearing of zero degrees. If you come round to where east is, that's a bearing of 90 degrees, and round to south is 180, and so on. So in this particular question, what they're saying is you have a 65 newton force uh, acting at a bearing of zero, and you have a 23 newton force acting at a bearing of 53 degrees. So if we draw those two vectors uh, head to tail, um, we get this sort of orientation, with the 53 degrees being here. If it's 53 degrees there, we know it's 180 in total. We then know the angle between the um, two vectors is 127 degrees. So what we'll um, now have to do is work out the resultant using the cosine rule because we've got this side, this side and this angle between them. Once you work out the resultant, then you'll work out this angle down here to give you the bearing of the resultant vector.